Good evening, everybody. I've got some things I want to show you guys. But first, I'm on the charger temporarily. So I might not, so I won't be able to walk around tonight. Because my phone is like extremely low. Well, it was extremely low, but it's almost fully charged. It's been like around 80%. And second, my balcony is open. So you might hear the traffic outside. And yeah. Okay, back to what I want to show you. So, I'm, like I said earlier, I've got some things I want to show. And here they are. I've got three of my Sony portable radios and an iPod Nano. You'll see why I have this iPod Nano in a moment. But first, this is basically like a collection of radios that I have. I do have a couple more, which I will show in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the first one here. This is my Sony Walkman CD player slash FM slash AM TV and weather radio. The model number is DNF430. It's a really nice radio. It's a really nice little thing. To open it, you open it on the side. Before I do that, I want to show the hookups. And the back. Back's got the hold switch. That means it's on and that means it's off. So anyways, and here's the little slider to open up the CD player. And here you can see where you put the CD. You know, unfortunately this CD player doesn't work. I don't know, for some reason this this little thing right here, the little laser, it gets stuck. By the way, that's that's the neighbors. Yeah, it's kind of kind of explain self-explanatory, but oh well. Okay, back to this. So I've got a AA battery here, and my camera's not focusing. Let's just wait. There you go. Now it focuses. So yeah, it takes one AA battery. Like I said, CD player doesn't work because, like I said, that thing gets that thing is stuck. But it still works. Now I'm gonna turn the radio portion on, and you will hear something. And that would be the noise. And that would be the noise of the weather band. Right now it's on the weather band channel 1, which is WXL88, which is basically the only only weather station that we have here in Northern California. Well, at least the North State in the Reading area. See? By the way, it's coming from these speakers right here, which I bought at a garage sale two years ago. This works pretty good. They were actually, they're actually, these speakers are actually in great condition. I, like I said, I bought these at a garage sale and they were brand new in the box. They were still in, a, in their original packaging, which I was kind of surprised because these ones are normally computer speakers, but they work really good. They're Advent, by the way, if you wanted to know what the name of it. So, yeah, you got that. Shut that off for a minute. I'll put it back on. So yeah, now you got your display and your menu button, search, the off button, and the uh, radio. Yeah, the reason why I pause is I wait for the camera to focus. There you go. Got your radio on, band, and memory. Here we got the tune. Tune, tune left, tune right. 
and you got your volume, your volume, your presets, and here if we switch it to 101.1, .1, which is on the FM function, you got your AM function, which for some reason now it doesn't work, I don't know why, it used to work before, now it doesn't, and TV function which is completely useless because as you may have remembered all TV channels all t all localized yeah all local TV stations had to convert to digital back in 2009 so basically now the TV function is useless but I do get one channel though and that would be channel 6 which is local country station Hank FM and then again the weather and I'll turn it off I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents so I thought it was pretty neat so, I mean you probably don't see too many of these anymore at least some that are in decent condition. Yeah, we'll set that to the side and move on to the next one. Whoops. Here I have the Sony Walkman FMAM model SRF 59. Just your basic general little AM FM radio, portable radio. There's your here you switch between AM and FM FM sensitivity switch it from local to distant your tune change stations and your volume control this one takes one double A battery just like the CD player does go ahead turn it on and they came from these speakers right here sound came from these speakers which speakers are pretty old but they still work they're only 10 years old I got these at Walgreens like 10 years ago for I think two dollars I don't remember it was somewhere right around there but they're nice they still work that's all that matters and uh, supposedly I bought these ones to kind of replace these but since these ones still work at least why not keep them for a little bit longer although I did have to put electric tape on it because the wires were already showing so I put the covered it with electric tape but again still a little nice little radio here it's got this pull release I just take it off and I'm, whoops Put it back on. Put that back there. Ah, oh, yikes. I kind of don't like the sound of louder motorcycles. But that's just me. <laughs> okay, moving on to this one. Here we have my Sony FMAM Walkman model SRF M35FP. Thank you. With of course the built-in digital clock. See by the clock button right here. Turn it on. See, works great. Fun fact: this and this came from the same yard sale. Yeah, this and this came in the came. From the same yard sale that I went to two years ago. So literally I got these two for a dollar. So it's pretty nice. I also should mention that this also came from a yard sale. Well my dad was the one that got it for me at a yard sale. I think he said he paid like a quarter for this one. Mm. Well, anyways, back to this. 
So this one's got it's got presets. It's got 10 presets, well, 15 presets. 10 of them are for FM, 5 of them are for AM. But again, just like the CD player, the AM function does not work for whatever reason. I don't understand why. But I think I might have to do with the circuitry in here. I'm not really sure right now. But I don't listen to AM radio, so why bother? Up here you got the volume or the headphone jack and the volume control. On the back it's got this thing here just like this one. You know, they actually fit the same. Let's see if I can take it off. See? And I can actually switch them if I wanted to. See, because they fit the same. It's kind of weird how this works that way. Uh, well, let's put it back so, to its original, to the proper spots. And another difference with this one is not only is it the vertical and also digital, but it's powered with two AAA batteries instead of a AA battery. So yeah, this, like I said, it's got 15 presets, which 10 are for FM, 5 are for AM. Oh, I almost, I forgot to mention, this one has up to 30 presets. 30 are for FM. I'm not sure how many for AM TV and weather because... Well, I shouldn't bother with AM because it is screwed up anyways. TV, I don't even want to bother either because it's useless. And weather, I only get one one channel, which is our local WXL88. But for FM, it has up to 30 presets. I thought it was pretty nice. Okay. And now, last but not least, the iPod Nano. Ugh, looks kind of looks kind of dark. Let me change the settings really quick. Brighten it up a little bit. There we go. And the fingerprint will go away. So I have the iPod Nano right here. This is the what is it the fifth generation or the something like that I don't know all that I'm gonna add this this the information about all these in the description but yeah what I like about this iPod Nano is that it's got a radio function and I will take this I'm gonna use these hook it up from the bottom cuz the iPods are famous for having the headphone jacks on the bottom. Ah, if this thing wants to go in. Oh, here's the back, by the way. Yeah, everybody should know what an iPod Nano looks like, at least this generation. So here we got the radio. Let's see, set to 94. This one's set to 94.7. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, anyways, I think this one could hold up to as many presets. I don't remember. Let me check the settings. How many favorites do I have right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 11 favorites right now. So it's pretty nice. But yes, this iPod Nano, I will only use it for just the radio, because I have no use for it. At least music-wise, listening to music, because then I can listen to it on my phone. But yeah, like I said, I only use the iPod Nano to listen to music, and yeah, that's about it. By the way, the time is correct on this. 
it is also correct on this, although it's two minutes, one minute behind. Let me change the time while I'm at it. There. Oh, I forgot to mention on this one, it has a hold button. See, it's got the little key, that means it's locked. And if you try to push it, the little key will flash, meaning that it's locked. And to unlock it, push the hold button again. Kind of similar with this one. Only this one's a switch instead of a button. But if you try to turn it on, it's going to display the the hold, which means it's locked. Which is pretty nice, so that way, you know, if, if I'm not going to be using any of these, at least save battery, I just put the hold button or switch. Since this one's an analog, hold button is useless. Take that off. Now I did have another one I want to show you, but... Ah, what the heck, I'll show it. But I am going to have to put the phone down for a minute while I get it. hook it up over here. This will be a minute. Okay, so I got another one right here. This is my RCA alarm clock radio. Here we look at the bottom. The model number is RP3721A. 120 volts AC and 9 volt DC battery backup. It's pretty nice. It's actually kind of rare, actually. You know. This I bought at a Goodwill a long time ago. I think it was maybe three years ago. Bought this at a Goodwill for I think four dollars. It's pretty nice. I like it. Hopefully I'll get to use it again. Right now I'm not using it. Since I have my stereo. Which I will show in a moment. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of functions on here. See? set for whoops oh snooze so it's got wake one wake two nap and sleep mode and this is for your button this one has up to 10 presets no 20 No, 10, never mind. Which means 5 could be for FM and 5 could be. 5 is for FM, 5 is for AM. And it's got your set time and set time and set to wake up. Set time, memory. Which I ain't gonna bother. See? And to push it to the other one, push it twice. See? Yeah, works extremely well. This goes from 87.5 all the way to 108.1. Put it on 94.7 really quick. See, so give you a quick sound check. Yep. It's got a pretty loud speaker. And I guess, I don't know, by looking at the inside, it used to have a stereo function, but since it's only one speaker, 
guess stereo function is pretty much useless. I guess it was intended to add a second speaker over here, but I guess it never made it through the plans. And I guess it also used to have MW and LW, which I don't remember what those mean, but I'll put it up there. So yeah, that's FM, and then here's AM. Yeah, it sounds kind of staticky. Whoops. There you go. Turn that off. I'll let you look at the back. This is actually a switch for the for the to dim. See, dims the time. It's it's high and it's on low. See. Like I said, hopefully one of these days I'll put this radio back to use. Because it's pretty nice. Hmm, I wonder when this was made. I'll have to look it up later. And then I'll add it on to the description. Now, last but not least. And this is going to require me to take off my charger. My Yamaha stereo receiver. Yeah, you've seen this a lot. And my technical difficulties and my EAS videos. This is an awesome stereo system. Like I said, it's a Yamaha model number RXV470. And it works great. My dad used to own it, and now I have possession of it. It's really nice, and I'll give you a quick glimpse. Right now I have it set to AM, which I probably should have set it to FM earlier, but that's okay. Whoops. It's got, this button is for your presets, it's for presets. So it's got A, B, C, D, E. Mute that so that way don't be heard a lot otherwise I'm gonna get Yeah. So is that got my bow speakers. It's a pretty nice. Guess I can let you look at it. See that. These are bow speakers. One big speaker and two speakers on the sides. I think it's unique. Put that back on there. Whoops. I'll fix it later. Well, anyways, so again, this has each preset has up to eight, or each letter has up to eight presets. So that means you have five five letters here times eight that gives you a total of 40 presets so that would mean 20 could be used for FM and 20 could be used for AM but as always I don't listen to AM radio so I usually have it for just FM only and here we got the different functions got the different buttons right here like I said that's for your preset this to memory FM and then AM got your tuning mode also known as mono stereo okay. push that it's on mono push that turns on auto tuning and it turns on stereo this is the tune and this is phono CD and LD and then again here you have your monitor for VCR and tape can turn both of them on and this is presets see you can switch between all those and this is program mode meaning they could switch between different equalizer settings 
like from rock concert, concert hall, mono movie, concert video. I actually have it set to rock concert. Oh, sometimes I might change it. Effect. This is to turn on and off the equalizer. So this means equalizer's off. This means equalizer's on. And then this is to test the speakers. Just so that way the speakers are connected properly. And I'll give you a quick demo. Testing left channel, center, I don't have center speakers. I do have right speakers. And this must be surround sound. Turn that off. And you got your front effect, center, and rear. These are staying like that because I don't have any center or rear speakers hooked up right now. All I just have is left and right hooked up. And here have your you have your bass, your treble, and balance. I don't know why. I like to max out bass and treble. So that way you get a little bit more power. But that's just me. And then obviously the volume. This little thing is a remote sensor and eventually I will get a universal remote so I could program this stereo. And these are your speakers to turn on and off. Pushed in it means it's on, pushed out means it's off. And the power button. And your big headphone jack. So yeah well, I guess I can say that's about it for my radio collection. Now I gotta clean all this up, put everything away. And, yeah. So I hope you guys liked it. Fix that. I guess I could lay out all of these. that out have one final look at least all the all these ones that I have plus this and yeah well like I said I gotta go I gotta put all this back and I will see you guys again in the next video Thank you and good night.